retinal vein occlusion occurs most frequently in patients with hypertension. There are things that predispose a patient towards getting changes in the small blood vessels in the back of the eye, high blood pressure, other risk factors such as glaucoma, age, smoking, uh, atherosclerosis. A vein occlusion causes swelling and hemorrhage, blood in the back of the eye, immediate painless loss of vision, and usually is very devastating from a visual standpoint. These patients end up getting my little monitor your blood pressure deal because it's frequently seen in high blood pressure patients, frequently who are not being perfectly well controlled. People frequently ask whether taking aspirin is helpful. Um, you know, the, the data is kind of mixed on that. I don't usually prescribe aspirin for patients who have vein occlusion. Patients are sometimes fooled or lulled into thinking that their blood pressure is under control because they take a medication and then kind of don't bother to do the, the hard part, which is the, okay, I need to continue to strap on that blood pressure cuff and make sure that the blood pressure is under control. Those patients also get the please check your blood pressure two to three times a day for two or three weeks lecture. But then we start treatment on the vein occlusions and you know anti-VEGF treatment, the injection therapy that we do for so many other diseases, works great for the swelling, the medical word edema, for the edema that occurs in retinal vein occlusions. When I first started practicing, the treatment options for people with retinal vein occlusions were, were dreadful. You sometimes did laser, and then at meetings you would hear people talk about all sorts of horrific new ideas that they had. We're gonna treat uh, vein occlusions by taking a little surgical blade and we're gonna make an incision into the optic nerve and relieve some pressure. And so every year you hear something radical, but still kind of dreadful, and along comes anti-VEGF therapy. And it's like, well, all these other treatments, we don't need these anymore because one treatment has clearly, clearly risen to the top. But the vein occlusion itself, although it causes, in many cases, significant and a, and a frightening amount of vision loss, with proper treatment, patients with vein occlusions can do remarkably well uh, over the course of time, regaining very close to normal vision in many cases with prolonged anti-VEGF treatment.